Hello Coloring Craze family, hope you guys are doing well. So this week's page is from Fragile World by Kirby Rosans and we are going to see the Red Panda page. So before we start the page, uh, you can see that uh, the face of the panda and a little bit of his body is already colored because I uh, did this page like a few months back uh, using my Prisma colors and uh, somehow i didn't press the record button on my phone and it didn't get recorded and i put away the page um just like that for quite a few months until now and i wanted to you know uh, match the shades with my other set of pencils uh the daily ones which i own uh, you know to try and see if i can uh, do that and luckily i was able to a little side note uh, I can probably tell the shades which I used for uh, coloring his face uh, I mean the Prisma color ones but then I also wanted to you know challenge myself and show you guys that the shades can be achieved using different set of pencils I mean if I if you guys don't own the Prisma colors you can definitely achieve them using the other set of pencils like here I've used the daily ones they are very very affordable and um, they are oil based pencils um, and I have heard people uh, compare them to the polychromos they co work very very well and um, the color payoff is so good and I've also uh, uh, return as Torjoy uh, in the color card as you can see uh, in the coloring of the video because I found them on Amazon under Torjoy but they were printed daily on them so just want to make sure you get both the names and hence I've written both the names and I will also link uh, the pencils that I bought through Amazon so if you want to um, check in the description box and have a reference to you can very well go ahead and do that so yeah we are going to see the four coloring of the panda using the daily pencils and uh, we'll see uh, the background uh, using uh, mostly prisma colors and we will also use a couple of shades from prisma colors you know uh, as a blending uh, tone you know just to tone down the shades from daily and i can also uh, explain to you guys how i did the face it's just like how how i'm going to color the fur um, you just start with your contour colors first and wherever it has to be darker you can use your contour colors and then move on with the um other uh, mid tones and highlights when you're coloring the face and the tail just do the fur uh, in one direction like when you go from down to up just maintain that down to up because it has a definite uh, way of going only in the tail and in the face while you're coloring the body you can go as randomly as you want and uh, the under part of him is going to be full black so yeah this is just one of the color shades uh, that you can go actually he is i mean um, i found him on google like in a various color uh, shades so he's entirely brown he's entirely red he's entirely orange and with black and uh, white uh, colors on the edges of his fur so yeah so this is just one of the shades uh, i'm just giving you an idea so you can just um, use your own color combo and come up with various various shades of him so after which uh, i'll show you guys how i did the trees and the background
so for the uh, tree uh, we are going to you know um, have a little bit of blackish brown and uh, we are going to start with the highlighted color here first the light color first uh, have a shade have a coat of the color uh, on the entire tree and then come in with brown here mark the contours of the tree like however you want like wherever you want to highlight and wherever you want to contour it just do it with that and then come in with black and uh, contour the shade even more then come in with brown blend it in and then uh, come in with the lighter shade if you want you know to have some highlights over the tree so this is how we are going to do the tree and here we're going to see the the thick bark ones they are going to have these three shades and the thin ones I've just gone with my brown and black you know just to keep it simple and dark because the background is going to be very light when compared to the trees in that way it won't you know uh, compete with the foreground and it, they both stand in their own uh, beauty yet complementing each other at the same time so after which I uh, went in with the prisma colors for my background predominantly and uh, the gray shade which I used for the background will also be used in contouring the snow because we need to have that dark uh, you know shadow in the snow even though it is completely white so you will see that also so I've colored the snow in you know uh, just follow the contouring of the snow that Kirby has given in the book and uh, have your light pressure and go over the uh, paths um, in a dark gray and then uh, I used my uh, Posca to you know uh, cover up the black lines and as far as I could and as best as I could you don't have to you know have them all covered because there has to be some uh, shadow to the snow so just cover as much as you can as best as you can and I also used my uh, jelly roll for you know for the fine lines for the snow snow icicles that you see here and there on the tree so for that I used my uh, white jelly roll but predominantly I used my Posca and I covered all the snow patches that was given uh, by Kirby and uh, also you know uh, put some dots uh, all over the page you know to give that uh, snowfall effect so once you're done with that we are done with the page and I hope you guys had fun watching this page and I hope you will give it a try if you have any doubt please post it in the comment section below and I will try my best to help you all out and I've linked all the products that I've used in the page uh, in the description below if you want to have a look so yeah I will see you all in my next video until then happy coloring bye